Vita via uhuru o wa Kenya vali biwa vipi ni nani shuja wa kweli wa ukombozi wa Kenya Wengi watasema mzee Jomo Kinyata ni shujaa wa ukombozi wa Kenya Hebu tuchunguze kwa umakini jibu hili Do you know that uh, Kenya is not free including every african country all so called african countries are european owned pardo and all our leaders have been bribed have been cheated have been duped to become western puppets but shepherd boys taking orders from europe and from china the real war heroes in every part of africa are killed and destroyed the real war heroes of kenya have been forgotten they exclude jomo kinyata why or how we will prove this beyond any reasonable doubt but let us first point out the real heroes and what they did and what they stood for the mau mau are the true heroes jomo kinyata was not a member of the mau mau to the contrary you will have seen this picture and image in many many times and perhaps you have assumed that jomo kinyata was part and parcel of the mau mau you are very wrong if you thought like that Here is what General Baimungi told Jomo Kenyatta when he was coming back with a sellout proposal. We reject your offer because it amounts to a bribe. You particularly should know that we fought and died for the liberation of this land and not for money and a few acres of land. We therefore refuse to disarm until your government meets our demands. Kenyans cannot be said to be free if they don't control their land and they have succeeded in expelling foreign exploiters from the country dismantling the colonial military and political machinery and distributing egalitarian justice to the citizens it is very very shocking and true that kinyata was secretly pro european he was not a mau mau leader although he was a member of the kikuyu tribe and was therefore assumed by the british to be a mau mau leader kinyata was an advocate of non violent negotiation with the british in order to achieve independence and made a speech denouncing the mau mau and their violence all things considered it is unlikely that kinyata was a member of the mau mau or a sympathizer of the mau mau he was actually after he was released from prison way to return to politics was paved by this man the colonial governor renson who facilitated kinyata's return to politics in december in 1961 by amending the legal legislation that barred any person imprisoned for more than 2 years to participate in politics there lies your answer there lies your answer that kenya is not a free country and the revolution was hijacked and is never delivered its promises there is your answer again jomo kinyata attending the anti mau mau meeting in august 1952 marked with a red circle his senior chief waruhu He was killed some few days later by the Mau Mau. Here again is a statement by Bildad Kagia and Kungu Karumba Kinyata was not a Mau Mau and they knew nothing about the Mau Mau. He was an actor, a film actor, a tribesman actor, a very selfish actor. He was a beneficiary of circumstances, a sellout who denounced the mau mau kenya is not a free country but like any other country in africa many of the people have been jubbed here is a tweet from uh, this thread a uh, reader happy mashuja day to all sons and daughters of, of the true heroes happy mashuja day to the living and deceased members of the mau mau movement the betrayal of the mau mau fighters by jomo kinyata was so loud we can't forget that is kenya free kenya is not Free. In a 2016 interview with the Financial Times novelist Ngugi wa Thiongo said the British called the rebellion Mao because they considered it meaningless. If they had said land and freedom army as the fighters called themselves then they would be articulating the aims of the movement. The land and freedom army the leader is here shown. He is the one we should be celebrating and uh, memorializing every day of our lives food marshal kimati's comment said we are not a gang of terrorists we are freedom fighters 
we are fighting a foreign enemy who has occupied our country live or die we shall never lay down our guns until we liberate our country unfortunately kenya has not yet been liberated kenyatta never wanted to fulfill any land issues and mass due to his selling out activities kenyatta when he got into power ordered the former colonial army a combined force of white and black soldiers the paramilitary police and the notorious hamungati militia led by a british commander to return to the forest to hunt down the klfa the mau mau liberating forces intensive bombing of the krinyaga region was carried out and uh, a massacre and a genocide was committed which has been swept under the carpet when the fighters refused to sign on the Lancaster trick that Kenyatta had brought as an independence document, he crushed them using the British soldiers. Therefore, he could not have been a liberator at all. The Lancaster House trick was played also on Zimbabwe. It was played on Kenya. In 1960, the British established majority rule after the first Lancaster House conference and then proceeded in a smooth transition, so-called smooth transition, but a process of eliminating the Mau Mau from 1960 to 1963. And eventually, the Mau Mau was vanquished by our own brothers and sisters. In the photo shown, showing Jomo and Baimungi, Jomo's body language betrays him in that one can see a man ready to commit murder and genocide just to have his way. And he did have his way because the field marshal was killed by the government after by government agents at Kando Yankoma Forest on January 26, 1965, his body disappeared. This is shocking and this is sad. When Kenyatta became the president of Kenya and propelled by the British and other interests, not Africans, he went ahead and anyone who showed any sign of intelligence died or was assassinated. Pio Gama, Tinto, Pio Gama Pinto died. Kenyatta presided over the death of all these people. Tom Boya was shot dead on day, during daylight. J.M. Kuriaki was assassinated. Tedani Kimathi was hanged at behest of Kenyatta, even though he had the chance to save him. He was married to a European woman. So what do you expect from someone who was already in bed with the oppressor. Kenya is not free. The liberation was ejected by a clique that obeys Europe up to today. There is a lot of duplicity. Kenyatta was also one of the few African leaders to continue his relationship with apartheid South Africa. An early ally of Israel, unlike then African governments, he even provided Kenyan airports and airspace for the 1970 Israeli raid on Entebbe in neighboring Uganda. You can read this uh, website. Read this from this website. We should never forget what happened at Kamiti Prison, where our dear leader was hanged for fighting for land and our natural resources. Kenya is not yet free. Since Jomo Kenyatta, as we have already proved, was not the leader of the Mau Mau, General Baimungi openly confronted him and passionately told him the following we don't want war even for a day unless it is forced on us we are not bandits or terrorists we are freedom fighters and we love our country more than our lives he perished in 1965 as he succeeded general tedani kima and his body was displayed at kinoru stadium for three days by our own brother and our own leaders kenya today is a police state run by a mafia like clique of self-serving politicians come businessmen. Jomo Kenyatta, a two-time betrayer of the Kenyan masses in 1953-54 at Kapenguria and 1962 with the Lancaster constitution, he became the largest African landowner in Kenya, the leader of the new black bourgeoisie and of the corrupt bureaucratic bourgeoisie which comprises the government, was described by Pinto Pio Kamapinto, the then editor of Saudi Africa and the top advisor of Kenyatta is simply an amoral man. Pinto 
was assassinated by the regime on 24 February 1965 and Kenya has not yet replaced him. Towards the thousands of freedom fighters who fought in the forests, reserves and towns during Kenya's Mau Mau revolt, the Kenyatta government has shown nothing but scorn and contempt. This became clear in a speech by Kenyatta shortly after his release in 1962 at Kitunguri, an African-run teacher training school turned into a butchery during the revolt, where over 1,000 Kikuyu were hung by the British forces of law and order. Kenyatta referred to the Mau Mau as a disease which has been eradicated and must never be remembered. You can read this in East Africa Standard of 1962. For those who remembered the promises of the revolution to which the detained leaders paid lip service on the eve of independence, the repression was swift and severe by our own brothers. Kenya is not a free country. The liberation war started by the Mau Mau was cleverly hijacked by a pretending tribesman who was promoted by the British and American interests. And via the Lancaster House, a false independence was imposed on the people of Kenya. Kenyatta was a darling of the West. There were no sanctions for Kenyatta, no gruesome Hollywood epics detailing roller coaster ride that took him from a shamba boy to a London socialite, rebellion in the forest to Ben's driving, fetiched to paranoid megalomaniac ally to apartheid, and finally a ruthless oppressor. Instead, he was remembered and is remembered as an African leader or a pan-African leader. Why? Because of Western propaganda. He is a darling of the West. Some of the people who openly opposed Kenyatta's land policies include Field Marshal Mariama. He was arrested by the Kenyatta government and jailed for five years. Wanjohi Wamungau was imprisoned for seven years for attempting to demand land for the freedom fight. Jaramogi Oginga Odinga was crippled politically during the 1966 Limur conference where eight vice presidents were introduced. J.M. Kariuki was assassinated in 1975 when he continued to buy land and they gave it to landless Africans. Others include Acheng Oneko, Bildad Kagia, Kungu Karumba, Pedi Onyango, Kariuki Ngoto, Edward Oyugi. They were all killed. The family of Dedani Kimath is just surviving. That of Musa Mariama lives on a 15-acre farm at Timau in Meru. The family of Chui, Matenge, Matejago, China, ETC are not even remembered. And surprisingly, it is the families of the collaborators, home guards, passive freedom fighters like Jomo Kinyata, Koinang and Njonjo, and the Saitotis, ETC, that have large tracts of land at the expense of the freedom fighters who spent years, 10 years and more in the bush and in the forest fighting for those lands. Today, even the nation, a newspaper in Kenya, actually says Jomo Kenyatta government failed to resolve colonial land question as of Sunday, June 19, 2022. All these are imposters. There is no revolutionary here. He was not an evolutionary. He was a Freemason. He was a Freemason and a Freemason. Kenya is not yet free. The Mau Mau fought for land and the freedom, but it was never attained. It was hijacked. The revolutionary was hijacked by imposters. Today, the whole of Africa suffers through political, economic, and spiritual divisions. We must unite, point out the mistakes amongst us, and fight to restore what is ours. Join us this year as we celebrate a new year, 6259, in which we will thrive for more unity and refocus our race for success. Let's celebrate together a happy new year as Marifado Family Network, 62. 59 on the 22nd and 23rd of September this year 2022 if we do not do it 
the those like the British who will see us already classify us as perverted tribalists, savages, violent, depraved individuals. That's how they labeled the Mao Mao. That's how they thought. That's how even our own brothers ended up thinking. The British used the divide and rule tactic strategy. Emphasize that this was a civil war, not blacks versus white. A trick. A liberal trick. But actually the Mao Mao versus other blacks as well as the British divide, rule and continue to rule. This strategy was effective because the Mao Mao were unable to win popular support from most blacks in Kenya. So let us celebrate this new together because we are all melanin dominant human beings. Kenya is not free. We need to continue to know that including every African country, we are still under the scramble for Africa and we are still not free. Therefore, let us make the year 6259 a year we destroy all barriers as we work on strengthening our melanin dominant spirituality. For more information, if you want to join us, send us an email on join at marifado.com. This is Hamane Jatopi, Priest Rabbi, LM Tumizulum Jaganja, Kuniken Samanu, saying Kenya is not free, so to every African country. It's time for Marifado. Marifado is the restoration of our inheritance. Let us go through it using our Mau Mau odds. Thank you, Tatenda Siabonga. Azima tushinde vita vijavio kwa garama yoyote ile.